God bless you all tonight. God bless you all. Come on in. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Amen. We are glad to have you with us on tonight. God is awesome. If you are here with us on tonight, then uh, what we'd like for you to do is leave your name and where you're from. If you have joined us on tonight, we come to be blessed on tonight. I hope you came to be blessed on tonight. God is awesome. He's worthy to be praised. I think that we have one that's on the line tonight. Uh, go ahead and leave your name and um, information. Amen. I'm just going to go ahead and share our live Bible study. Um, we've been having a blessed Bible study, and we're glad that you have joined us. Either you're uh, via Facebook or you are with us. Uh, joining us on the Zoom, or you are on YouTube. We see you there. I'm not sure who that is on YouTube, but I tell you what, every time that we uh, pick up on YouTube, uh, somebody is there, and we appreciate you uh, for waiting for our broadcast to come on, on YouTube. After a while, I'm sure we will uh, be able to uh, pop it all off at the same time. So thank you so much for joining us on YouTube. So tonight we are going to move forward in our Bible study. And uh, before we do that, uh, we're going to pray. I'm going to give you the scriptures uh, that we have um, available. Amen. If you are on Bible study, go ahead and like and share. Uh, I'm going to do some sharing. Pastors here with us. Uh, tag a member, tag a friend literally tag someone and, and get them to join uh, the Bible study on tonight. Um, we are just glad that you are here with us. Amen. 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 We are the Great I Am Temple uh, pastors, uh, Jerome and uh, Clarissa Pace. Jerome and Clarissa Pace. Uh, he needs to come over a little bit more. He never pays attention to the technical stuff like I do, but his face is all out of it. <laughs> So I'm going to move us, move us over uh, just a little bit more so that he can be seen. Y'all excuse, excuse us so we can be seen together. Um, and then you can let us know if you hear us clearly as well. So I'm going to make sure that we are on, okay, where you can hear, hear a post and let me know if you can, can hear us clearly. I'm going to go to my Facebook page on my phone. Uh, sometimes we have technical difficulties being heard. We're just giving you time to join in and time to uh, share the Bible study tonight. Amen. It's storming outside. Mm -hmm. But we are still going to trust God and keep moving. How about that? If y'all don't mind, we're going to keep on, keep on moving. <laughs> keep on moving moving praise the name of the lord amen amen i'm just sharing right now pastor do you have any do you want to go ahead and pray while i'm sharing our video or you want to wait i'll just wait till you get through sharing sharing is caring <laughs> okay so i can sip on my coffee caffeine also okay so so if y'all have coffee uh you want to join us with coffee we might just change the broadcast to to Bible study with, with uh, the paces and coffee. <laughs> okay, that's a little corny, but oh well, I tried, I tried. I really, really tried. So I'm going to let that let that go right there before, um, mm -hmm. yeah, before everybody talk about me real bad, especially my family if they see this. Okay, so uh, listen, uh, we're going to go ahead and pray our Bible, uh, and then we're going to move into Bible study. Uh, I'm sure Pastor's going to review a little bit about last week, mm -hmm. and we're going to let some in. <laughs> you pull it over here. We're going to go ahead and let uh, some of our visitors in on Zoom right now. Okay, so we're going to pray. Father, we thank you tonight for your many blessings. We thank you for 
being very, very kind to us, God, for being gracious. And Father, for that, we are grateful. We're grateful to be the sheep. I mean, the sheep, the sheep of your pasture. We're grateful that we do have ears to hear and eyes to see. And we're only praying, Father God, that we will continue to awaken in our spirit, Father God. We know that we are just like Paul. We have not yet arrived. Uh, we have yet to have apprehended everything that we need to know before we leave this world. And so there's more that we need to know. There's more change that can take place, more transformation. There's revival, restoration, and renewing. And that's what we come for tonight, Father God, is that you will continue to open up our ears, our eyes, and our hearts to receive what you have for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and review since you said I'm sure I was going to review. Go ahead. And... No, 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 no. I'm saying no. I was saying no, you no, 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 no. <laughs> Just kind of there it is. There it is. There it is. The Cowboys in that song. I'm going to walk away and get me some coffee. How about that? Y'all. <laughs> I've got tea. Oh, you got tea. Okay. 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 We're going we're gonna to have I have, I have Folgers. I'm sorry. 100% Columbia. <laughs> Strong stuff. A A Ashwanda. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Ashwanda. All right. All right. Okay. So we got all these bragging folks on here. <laughs> hey, man. All right, you guys. Uh, last week. Oh, man. Uh, Go back over there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, last week was good. I just, uh, if you just hit it a couple of times, I'm, I'm, a, I wasn't prepared to review, but I do know. What, was, we, what was the last series about? <laughs> you don't know what the last series was. About? Sister Sharon can help. <laughs> You, that, that's the whole spiritual growth what what part of spiritual growth what was the topic the five-fold ministry edifying in the church that was a part of it mm -hmm. but we were talking about the tools the things necessary for spiritual growth oh when we talked about the babes yes oh yes, yes. yes. And, and i can remember you talking about the um uh on the 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 bottle the milk yes on yes, the milk yes and being able to tell the difference mm -hmm. uh uh and to grow up and to know that we need to uh go past being on the milk that it's time for us to uh grow up and sometimes growing up uh growing up uh yes i see you in yellow That's, i'm not sure if i like it or not okay but uh i see um uh, uh, growing up, you know, in Christ is not always the easiest thing. And it is, we are like the natural babies who are, have to take time to digest right. what is put inside of each and every one of us. And it, it doesn't always feel good. But the good news that I thought out of that was that you, you talked about the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and his gifts and how the fivefold ministry is there to actually lead us through mm -hmm. and to get us to or through our growth process. You closed out with something I was trying to remember Sunday and I should have written it down, but you gave us three pointers. I really wish you would give those three pointers um, in the end because you also talked about us as preachers and what we have to do and not to do when we are teaching those who are growing they don't always want to hear about themselves right we want to hear about god right hear more about god more about who he is more about who jesus is and what he's done for us than to hear about what we're not doing right okay you, you just you did well it, it, it came to remember us okay so, so so if they're not growing it could be what 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 could one of the things be they're not fed not being fed not being fed they're not being fed the right. The real word, the truth. Right. The truth, yes. And they're not participating or they're not eating. Once we hear it, we must right. do it. Right. Be not right. just hearers, right. but doers also. Right. I got my other daughter, Shamil, on there. How I'm doing, Shamil? <laughs> okay. All right, then. Right. And all those things are necessary, you know, to, to move from the phase of babes 
until into maturity. And we did say that you're going to mature one way or the other. I mean, you're going to grow. Uh, that's I may have actually said mature. You're going to grow one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Ma- but maturing in Christ Jesus, maturing in the word, the only way you can mature in the word is to receive the word, eat mm-hmm. the word of mm-hmm. God, mm-hmm. the milk, mm-hmm. the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And one thing I found out about the truth is uh, when the Bible says that the truth will make uh, set you free or make you free, mm-hmm. if it's going to make you free, that means that you're in bondage from something. That yeah. means something else has your attention, mm-hmm. something else has your time, mm-hmm. something else is taking his place. And we know that he says he's a jealous God mm-hmm. and he he should have no other gods before him. So mm-hmm. if 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 the word is going to free us, then we know that we're in bondage mm-hmm. from something. Mm-hmm. Some monster, some 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 Goliath. Okay, there's something that we have to conquer, or something that has to be conquered mm-hmm. in order for us to be free. Mm-hmm. And the first thing we have to conquer and believe is we have to trust God is whom He says He is, mm-hmm. and besides Him there is none other. So there's a trust factor mm-hmm. in maturity, mm-hmm. just like a babe. Uh, when a babe cries, he cries because he don't even know trust, but he cries because he wants something and he believes it when he cries out, mm-hmm. he's going to get it. So mm-hmm. we are the same when, when we cry out and when we starve and when we have an appetite for God's word, it just can't be a one-time appetite. Because mm-hmm. babes have to be fed, what, three, four times a day? Mm-hmm. And sometimes, and, and I thought about this, sometimes when, when babes start to mature, some babies start to mature a little bit of others, that same portion of milk won't do it. The Mm -hmm. doctor said, okay, give them two ounces. Mm -hmm. But that two ounces is not doing it no more. So you have to increase the ounces. Mm -hmm. Then other times, the milk alone is not doing it. So Mm -hmm. we have to do old-fashioned with some of y'all old-fashioned mothers. You have to add some cereal to to the the milk. milk. Okay. Okay. (laughs) So it's the same way with God. It takes more to fill others and it does some, but it's always a process. Mm-hmm. So spiritual growth, I want to go back to the main point I want to iterate is it's not a one-time fix. Mm-hmm. It's a continuous process. Mm-hmm. Every day you get up, the devil's going to be there. Mm-hmm. Every night you go to sleep, the devil's going to be there. Mm-hmm. And you need growth. Mm-hmm. You need maturity mm-hmm. in order to handle or be able to defeat the woes of the enemy. Mm-hmm. Amen. So mm-hmm. that was just one or two, and, and we didn't want to stay in there too long. We 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 could have spent another whole month probably there on on that part of spiritual growth. But we're gonna move on and push on, and and uh, hopefully and prayerfully that that something that we've talked about up to this point uh, has meditated on your heart and meditated on your mind that will cause you to have a deeper love and a deeper deeper uh, sense of. Uh, a thirst and a deeper, uh, deeper, just a deeper urge to just continue to dig and tend to mm-hmm. reach out and, and to dig into God's word and see what his word is mm-hmm. saying to you for your circumstances, mm-hmm. for your situation. But mm-hmm. uh, we do know that babies don't understand as the same level as a mature Christian does. Mm-hmm. They don't, they don't have that revelation. They, they act like a baby. They, they, Treat people like a baby. When when by that's what you say. When I was a child, I act like a child, thought like a child. But when mm-hmm. I became a man, when you mature, mm-hmm. you shouldn't act childishly mm-hmm. in the body of Christ, okay. outside the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. There has to be a difference in a baby Christian mm-hmm. and in a mature Christian. Mm-hmm. There's got to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about? Go ahead. That? So how can, how do we talk about, you tell the difference? Oh, we're going to get all up in that tonight, but that's, 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 there's a difference. Okay. I mean, uh, the Bible says with loving kindness, have I drawn thee? He, he says that love your enemies. That's the difference right there. Can you love your enemies? Mm-hmm. Well, I was it, thinking about how, um, just how we respond to life, period, instead of, of a mature, uh, a mature, Christian, a growing Christian, Mm because we still may have to have another challenge from challenge to challenge, Mm -hmm. but is more proactive 
to life and life circumstances versus reactive versus reactive and Rea reaction yes. will cause you to handle things fleshly yes yes that's that's where we are right yeah, yeah. right you, you, somebody hit you you, you hit your, back. your initial reaction is right. hit them back somebody yeah. cuss you you cuss your them. initial reaction is to cuss them back don't play with yeah. me right yeah, yeah put some you know somebody mess up on me i, I just go and slash their tires right. and put sugar in their tank I ain't yes. talking. I ain't talking about nobody. I know. Somebody cheat on you, you more apt to cheat, cheat on them, them. Back. Yeah. right? Somebody right. steal from you, you apt to steal back. Absolutely. So, so that's that's reaction. <laughs> that that's how we handle things. Lord, first. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 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 I'm always reminded of Scripture being in this world. Those things are in this world. Yes. But He says we're in this world, but not but, but not uh, of this world. world. So. Office. Sister Sharon had something. Go ahead, Sister. You know, I, you know, when you were talking about reaction, in that, you know, we should already have, sometimes we should um, just kind of take and put ourselves while we're alone in certain situations. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if someone says something to you, you, already, you should already have Instead of a reaction, we ought to, we are, we we need to have a plan of action, something mm -hmm. that we already know in our hearts how we're gonna respond, right. and 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 keep and keep from getting caught off guard mm -hmm. more than what we need to be. So mm -hmm. we we need to have a a plan of action, you know, that's already in place. Because, you know, as we read God's word, uh, we, we, God equips us and shows us the tactics and the strategies of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And not that, that we know them all, but, but we, 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 we've gone through enough sometimes that yeah. we ought to have learned something by right. now <laughs> right. And, right. and knowing how to have a plan of action mm -hmm. uh, to, 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 what you say, detour from the, the the original thing that we're always accustomed to mm -hmm. and 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 learn a different punch of how to uh you know respond and i i just you know i, I thought about that we we say be proactive rather than reactive if we're proactive then we're going to have a plan of action that's it that's, mm -hmm. it. that's it and you know so supporters it, it's amazing that that when i when i went into uh, the the administrative side of, of education, I had to to handle things a little bit different mm -hmm. than just being a teacher because it's kind of like in the ministry, people hold you at a different standard. Okay, can you guys hear us? Are we back? We saw the internet went out over here, it lightning, and then the internet went out. Sharon, I can't hear you though. 
Can you hear now, Barbara? Y'all post if you are, if you can hear and if you are still on the line. Let us know that you're here. Okay. Okay. And so I was, oh my gosh, did it do it again? Oh, okay. Okay. We're still here. Okay. I don't know what I hear. Okay. So I was thinking in that though, Jerome, uh, Pastor Jerome, as you said that and what happens to our reaction and stuff to life and, and all of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've done some things and I was a Christian, um, a young Christian, uh, a babe. Yeah. I ain't talking about my age either. I'm talking about my spirit, okay? So I was a young Christian. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I came up the ranks with the fighting Baptist and, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know? And, uh, you know, and and my thing is, I just, I just, you know, was over there and I just, I thank God that um, that's where his grace and mercy is, why he constantly teaching us and through the word that we have the opportunity to grow up and I think he's going to get to the scripture tonight I got if you want to go ahead. he's going to get to the scriptures tonight that talk about uh the title of our uh lesson tonight is time to be cut time to be cut knowing when it is time to be cut as he goes into the the scriptures that that we'll bring forth tonight is knowing when when it's time to be cut. So I think you, you, we get to a chance, y'all may not agree, but let me know if you agree or disagree. I think you just kind of know you and the Lord, you know, the Lord talking to you, or you just know, okay, Lord, it's time to cut all this out, you know, and be for real and have a desire to really do right in life, not just by you, but if like I preached on Sunday, uh, Jesus came in for peace and not war, which was unrecognizable, which to me, I equate that to dramas tonight. I'm going to equate it to drama in our lives. It comes to a point where we need to settle the drama because the person that we serve, the, the spirit that we serve, uh, the one true living God, uh, yes, uh, anything foolish needs to be loose, right? But we have to get to that point to where we say, okay, the drama has to stop in my life. I really want peace. I don't want a clown. I was making notes for Bible studies. I was reading uh, some of the scripture that we're bringing tonight. And that's going to be John 15, if y'all want to find it. Pastor's trying to get back on the internet. It's John 15, verses 1 through 3. Somebody can uh, write that on the Facebook course. It's John, the 15th chapter, verses 1 through 3. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verses 15 through 17, and Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Again, that's John 15, 1 through 3, Matthew 7, 15 through 17, and Galatians 5, 22 through 23. So it just came a time in my life when I was like, okay, I really want to have the peace that I that everybody's talking about. I really want to have the life uh, that people say that Jesus has said that and more abundantly. Okay, Pastor, go into the scripture tonight. So our 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 scripture is John, as she said, John 15, 1 through 3. Very familiar. Uh, we want to uh, approach it this this series here, uh, approach it that our, our top is I'm going to cut you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to cut you. So John 15, one to three says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Mm -hmm. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Mm -hmm. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Mm -hmm. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Amen. That's John 15. One through three. So as I as I was saying, I, I want to bring this point back. So as I was saying, one of the things that is script because I had the script, and when they came into my office, I didn't want to talk to them 
the way that they probably was going to talk to me, but I found out that as I script, as I wrote certain things down, certain responses down, uh, the one of the main things that I learned in training is, is to say, I understand. That don't mean they're right, but I understand brings reference to I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And then you always, when they say something else, you always say, I understand. Mm -hmm. Don't, 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 don't let them, let it get out. Of, I understand. And then when you come back, you had your, what we call the playbook. Our handbook is our playbook. I understand what you said, but let's just look in the playbook. Let's look in the book and see what it says about this offense, what it says about that offense, what it says about that offense. And then sometimes they will say, well, I understand that the rules say this. That's what people say about the Bible sometimes. Mm -hmm. I understand what the Bible says, but can't this one time, mm -hmm. or it's just their first time, can you just let them off the hook? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say if I let them off the hook, I would have to go back and let everybody else that has been punished according to this rule, mm -hmm. I would be doing them an injustice because mm -hmm. I had to set, I had to use the rule, apply the rule to them. Mm -hmm. And they would say, well, I understand, but it's their first time. I said, I understand too. I said, but sometimes it don't take but one lesson mm -hmm. for somebody to learn. Sometimes it takes more. So I had to script those things so I wouldn't get angry, so I wouldn't get upset and take it personal. So, so it is, we have a script, we have the Bible as our script. When things happen in our life, we can use the word of God to script out our words that we need to say over situations, over circumstances, over things that go in our life. When we use the word, the word works. And it, and it calls us to talk maturely to act and to speak as though we are truly born again believers because there ought be a difference. I know that's not proper, but there ought be a difference between a matured saint and a baby. Amen. It should be a difference. I mean, we, we, we shouldn't be yelling, kicking, throwing fists to get our way. We shouldn't take our toys and go home. <laughs> Amen. You know how to do. Some people get mad. Well, I just quit coming to church until so and so leave. Oh. That's taking you to the toys and go home. Well, I quit paying my tithe and offering. Oh. All that stuff does not harm the church. Oh. It harms you. It harms your growth. It stunts your growth, mm -hmm. and it shows that you are not oh, where you so. supposed to be mm -hmm. as a mature saint of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, "Be still and do what." Know that I'm and do what? Know that I'm God. Know that I'm God. Amen. And then knowing I'm God, he said, also, let me fight your battles for you. This battle is really not yours. It's the Lord's. Well, so we have to learn to give things over to him. It's also, there's ministry of reconciliation. There's right. so much in the Bible. Come, let us reason together. Mm -hmm. uh, get an understanding. Mm -hmm. And all that you do, get an understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you said, the Bible talks about how we build relationship. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about right there, an immature Christian who is not, who is not developed relationally. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, I'm not sure your relationship with Christ. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> well, when he tell you, are you scared? You know, what do you do? Well, anyway. Okay. So, so this process, this, this, this gardener, the father, mm -hmm. uh, I am the true vine and my father is the garden. This process, the definition of pruning or prune is a technique that mm -hmm. is used by gardeners. I'm not a gardener, amen, but my folks were gardeners. I know gardeners. Mm -hmm. So pruning is a technique that involves cutting off mm -hmm. branches, mm -hmm. dead branches, things mm -hmm. that's not fruitful, things that will not only not grow, but it will cause the, cause the tree. Mm -hmm. to have inconsistencies or to not to bear. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they go off and cut those things that's not being fruitful. They prune them in order for the rest of the tree to be uh, productive or to sustain growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. And what I've learned is when they cut those things, they'll actually grow back. Mm -hmm. I've also witnessed uh, uh, farmers and, and people that grow trees is that 
they go in and I can't remember what the process is called. They'll take a good branch off another tree and they will come in and they will split mm. where the old limb or the old branch was not functional and attach a good branch to it. Mm. And I've seen them wrap it and that branch would in, it will infuse and grow. I can't remember what that process is called. I, I'm not sure if it's infusion or what it's called, but I've, I've witnessed that on, on people that have pecan arches. They would take, if there was growing little small pecans, they would take a, a limb from another tree that produced different types. And I've just learned that there's so many types of them that it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But I've actually seen that process work. Mm -hmm. Grafting in. That, that's it. That, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. we, 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 have, we have a gardener on the line. Mm -hmm. Grafting. That's exactly what it is. And, mm -hmm. and I, I, you know, I was always around it, but I never observed it like I should. Mm -hmm. So here, as this gardener, that gardener is cutting all these dead branches that hinders the tree from growing properly. Mm -hmm and producing what it should mm -hmm. produce. Mm -hmm. So what happens is God has to sometimes cut stuff away from us so that we will bear his spiritual fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So the idea of bearing fruit, it, it's not a it's not an antique, it's not an old deal. It's it's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what, what has happened is if we purchase a fruit tree and plant it and we take care of it, we expect what what do we expect? We buy the tree, plant it. What are we expecting from that tree? To grow fruit. To grow fruit. To bear so fruit. if it's not bearing fruit, mm -hmm. that means either it's not on good soil. Not on good soil. Or it's not good and we're not properly taking care nurturing of it, it, nurturing it, or either that it has and some dead. Yeah, yeah, we have to prop, we have to do all these things mm -hmm. to maintain it to make sure that it does what it's designed to do. Mm -hmm. So as it started to grow, we, we noticed that there's branches dying on it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, well, I mean, let me put it this way. I, I, one of the guys I hunt with, and this gonna make this 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 gonna make good sense, I believe to me. So he had an accident. He fell about seven seven flights down off of a scaffold. He went through eight surgeries on his leg, mm -hmm. and every time they do a surgery, it would. Last for a while, but it still wasn't circulating. It was still another surgery, still another surgery. And finally, when he got a chance to got ready to do that night surgery, mm -hmm. he told the doctor, he's just cut it off. It's, it's not going to ever be like it should have been. Mm -hmm. And it's not producing. It's causing me more problems mm -hmm. than, it, than it to have it on me than to not have it. So he told the doctor, go ahead and cut it off. So just mm -hmm. that's, that's a physical leg. That's not working. That was not working properly. Mm -hmm. And he had been through all these surgeries and all these different things, but it still wasn't working properly. So what it was doing, it was hindering the rest of his body because it was robbing his body of stuff that he needed for the rest of the body to function and to be affected. So he said, a doctor just cut this off. Bad roots can stunt our growth. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. So so it is with, with him being the gardener, with him being the garden, him being the, the, the person that manages us. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people don't like. They don't like to be managed mm -hmm. by the master. Ah. I'd much rather be managed by the master, that person that made me, mm -hmm. than some foreign person that's telling me what mm -hmm. I need to do and what I don't need. Who mm -hmm. knows us the best mm -hmm. other than the person that made us in his image, mm -hmm. in his likeness? Mm -hmm. Who knows how we should function in what it takes for us to function. Who can repair us better than the person that made us? Mm -hmm. He's the perfect example of how we should function. Mm -hmm. So when we're not functioning properly, sometimes he got to cut us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Any, any comments before we move on? Well, no. 
she says, well, that's what his word is saying over here in the first verses. Uh, he's a true vine and my father is in the gardener and he cuts off every branch in me that does not bear uh, no fruit while mm -hmm. every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. I was reading where uh, Jesus speaks of two categories of branches. And I guess those two branches are within us. Mm -hmm. We'll have a branch of fruitfulness and a branch of unfruitfulness. Yes, yes. And the scripture goes on to say, if you continue to read that, he actually rejects that part of us that is not fruitful. That's right. That's the part of the cutting mm -hmm. is because he's actually rejecting that. And I just thought, wow, because when we have thought that people were rejecting us, you know, when we, we that inner man didn't feel right, felt worthless, invaluable, confused, or twisted, just down and out and I'm no good and I'm no, it may be a part of us that's unfruitful. And I was just looking at that, thinking about myself in life when I have really felt like I was so far from God, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, I can't feel him. Mm -hmm. You know, he, I think when I went over this, after you chose to study, it, that may be what he was doing. He had actually cut off and he had actually rejected that part of me in life that had no root and I had to somehow catch up <laughs> mm -hmm. amen anyone else so 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 let me let me let me back up a little bit so even if 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 if, if, if sister Porters went and bought a a nice uh red rose bush mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be a red rose bush and it's labeled as a red rose bush and it does not produce red roses. One or two things will happen. She's gonna take it back to whoever she bought it from and she said, you it's gave me the wrong rose bush. Rose bush. Mm -hmm. Or either something is defective about this rose bush. I've done everything mm -hmm. that you told me to do to, to make this rose bush Thank grow you. and produce red roses. Mm -hmm. But it's not producing red roses. Yeah. Yeah. So I need a new bush <laughs> i need something new this is not working this is so good. it is this with is us good. when we are born and when we are growing and maturing mm -hmm. there's some things about us that are not that they're not maturing at the same speed mm -hmm. as to, to to mature than others. Amen. Anybody ever had that that those that certain things that 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 just seem to just keep on keep on hanging on? So what he's saying is those things that are just keep on hanging on that's that's hindering us from maturing and producing good fruit has to be cut. So there's a cutting and there's a process that 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 God has that that we have to allow Him to have His perfect work in us. Apart from Him, we're gonna fail. Apart from Him, because that's letting us know that there's a connection, there's there's a surge, there's a plug in mm -hmm. that if we're not connected to the source. Mm -hmm. We are separated. There's a disconnect. So when that disconnect happens, that part that we disconnect from is not going to mature. Some of it is by choice. Amen. Some of it is that we don't recognize. That's happening. Too. That's happening. Yeah. Others is, and I've been like this all my life. <laughs> And I'm gonna die like this. Yes, you are. You are. You're gonna die just you're gonna die just like that. Because there's a way that seemeth right unto me. Yes. Seem it. Mm -hmm. Feel right. Right. Taste right. Right. But it's killing you slowly. Right. Woohoo. Okay, so I had that thought when well, you ain't even got to Galatians, but I was like, I know I wrote down this note for myself. I know when I'm showing out. 
<laughs> say what you say. It, anyway, this somebody ain't, record this. Say this, say this, this, this ain't about I, 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 I'm having trouble hearing on this guy. Say it loud. You say you do what? I know, and you know too. You when you know you, what? When you showing out. We know about me. We talking about okay. you. know. I don't got hot in here. I can't. So I'm thinking about you know showing out with the Lord. <laughs> You know, uh, it takes uh, more work, just, just like you say, you know, just like you say, it takes more work to frown than it does to smile. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're talking about this, I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about, you said some of it, we don't even know, but we, we kicking and screaming. We, you know, we, we don't know that we're actually fighting against the prick mm -hmm. because those who are disobedient are the ones who fight against the prick when God is trying to prune us to cut off the unfruitful part of us, uh, it feels bad. Mm -hmm. And it takes more effort to go against him than it is to go with him. Isn't it like the wave? Ain't you supposed to go with the wave and not against the wave? If, yeah. The it's current easy. of something is easy. easier. Yeah. Look at look at that. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even get on the The script says that, that it's hard kicking against. The prick. Okay, that's going against the wave. Against the wave. The flow. Yes, yes. I'm going to be quiet because he trying to. He trying I, I, I did not say that. I just agree. But do you, don't you hear when God, and I'm, I'm asking y'all, don't you hear when God is literally rebuking you? A mature, for a out? mature believer does. Okay. But a baby don't hear that. Hmm. When you are a mature believer, you know when you're out of line. You you know it. Well, I think when you're being pruned, can't you hear a little bit? I'm just saying. Pr pruning mm -hmm. is another process in the growth. Okay. If, if you're not willing to get rid of the things that so easily mm -hmm. beset you, okay. set you back, set you up. Okay. Cause you to keep starting over, mm -hmm. cause you to say, Well, I ain't gonna do it no more. Mm -hmm. and, and then the next time you turn around, you're doing the same mm -hmm. thing, same thing. I ain't gonna touch no time. more. I ain't gonna drink no more. I ain't gonna get high no more. I ain't gonna go party no more. You 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 have the thought of not doing that, but mm -hmm. you don't have the maturity not to do that. The willingness. The willingness comes into maturity. The willingness come to trust. Okay. 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 That's where the wilderness comes out. Okay. And a lot of times what happens is what hinders people from maturing is they don't trust God all the way. Is it love too? Well, the, the love comes, I believe, and in, 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 in what, what I'm studying is the love comes from us allowing ourselves to suffer with him. Mm -hmm. To 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 be conformed to be transform totally mm -hmm. amen to project him mm -hmm. so 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 for some reason is a lot of times <laughs> i talked about the tree because that's what he compares mm -hmm. us to his trees mm -hmm. a lot of times we don't live up to what our mouth advertises mm -hmm. <laughs> can i get an amen oh lord Jesus. we don't live up to what our mouth advertises because what happens, the only way we can mature, the only way we can grow is to do it when situations come. Mm -hmm. you, trial and error. Okay. Trials and tribulations. Yes. Hurt and pain. Uh -huh. Disappointments. Mm. Sadness. Tears. Those are the opportunities that we go through that grow us. They're not avoidable. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> They're not, I mean, we, we want the maturity without the going through the process, the procedure. I know what we understand. What do we understand? No pain, no gain. <laughs> so, so, I'm going to leave it So, what Jesus tells us to do is to beware of false prophets. Yes. Yeah, you're going into the word. You're going into the word. And then what is it? Yes. Be beware because they're actually sheep. I mean, wolves in sheep, sheep clothes. That Matthew, mm -hmm. we in Matthew 7, mm -hmm. 15 through 17. Mm -hmm. But inwardly, you know, they profess to be like humble, 
lambs. lambs. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, when you push the right button, mm -hmm. they come out like a snarling hare, a wolf, a hare, the rabbit, I'm sorry. They come out like a wolf. Oh, Amen. Yes. So, yes. so, so, what happens is their their fruit don't line up mm -hmm. with what they say they are. So sometimes we have a problem recognizing now who who is that. It, it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I say that because mm -hmm. I heard that one night, and it was a a preacher that was mm -hmm. in revival, mm -hmm. and he cussed all the way out of the pulpit. And I ain't talking about just a little cussing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a lot of cussing. Mm -hmm. That was a perfect opportunity for someone that was there to, to continue not to trust God or to continue not mm -hmm. to want to be a part of God's family. Mm -hmm. If God's family acts like that, I don't want to he acting just like we act out at the club. Well, it ain't so, sanctified. It's right. not. It's not set apart. You know, it's it's not. I mean, it looks the same. Yeah. It does. Now, to a mature believer, we know they could say that's a wolf. Okay. But to a baby, they're gonna say, "I don't want no part of Christianity." Right. Right. A more a, a mature person mm -hmm. knows that 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 we judge a person by their heart. Ooh. The heart. We look at the heart of man, not at the outer part. Gotcha. And we know that that the Bible says, "Don't put your trust in man." And we know that man is subject to make mistakes. Man is we is subject to error. Mm -hmm. You know, even though you preach it all the time, I'm a preacher, but I'm still a man. Yeah, but you should be a different kind of man. man. <laughs> if you got to throw a fit, hurting us all. Tonight. If you have to throw a fit, Jesus, you do it like a ninja. You go home, throw all the fits you want. But when you are out in the public, you are representing Christ himself. But and then, that is mm -hmm. something that is doable because there's been a lot of time mm -hmm. that I want to, to throw down and get down. Mm -hmm. But I remember he said, humble, <laughs> take the low path, yeah. let your words be Yay and amen. Yeah. Build up and don't tear down. Yeah. I, and, 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 and you have to you have to always know that there's somebody on the outside waiting to judge you and to judge that God in you. You, you don't have to just cut up. They're they gonna, they gonna be, I'm telling you, they're gonna be opportunities mm -hmm. for you to do good mm -hmm. or bad. Yeah. They're gonna be there. Yeah. And if you allow the spirit of the Lord to prune you and to cut you and to, mm -hmm. to take out the things in you that's not like him because mm -hmm. if we could do it ourselves then we would have no need for him. Right. Amen. So Amen. maturity is only happens as we drink and eat of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to happen. We, we cannot mm -hmm. function solo. Oh, because that's in the scripture. We can't do it. Right, right. So it tells us to watch out for false prophets. Mm -hmm. By their fruit, you'll recognize them. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say, now, now would you go pick grapes off an of apple tree? Mm -hmm. No, grapes grape should not be on. Now, they have a vine running. It may be a grape vine. I've seen muscadine vines running along fences by trees, but the vine off that apple tree should not be, the branch off that apple tree should not be producing orange. Mm -hmm. Now I know we into all this uh, mm -hmm. uh, this mutation. I, I want to <laughs> I saw a young lady, she was so proud the other day that she had bought this mixed breed dog. Mm -hmm. it, it's sort of like the one uh, Pastor Ann had it's not a poodle doodle. Well, I'm scared. This was a the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was a <laughs> boxer doodle. That means it mixed a boxer with a poodle and it had a boxer head and a poodle's body. And 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 five, six hundred dollars for that. Mm -hmm. So what's happened is we we are in time, we're trying to intertwine mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. And man, spirit 
and flesh, the spirit and things of the world. That 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 it reminds me of 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 um of the movie, uh the vampire movie uh that um the guy has a blade, a blade, blade, what's his name? Uh Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. Uh-huh. It reminds me of how they are trying to mutate to make the perfect vampire. A little bit of your blood, a little bit of this blood, a oh, little bit of that blood, all to make the ultimate vampire. Oh, wow. The daywalker. Yeah, I see. And that that's what we as mature believers know that there has to be a separation. It, it, it's like trying to, it's like something trying to heal on you. Mm -hmm. And you want it to appear healed, mm -hmm. but once you take the bandage off, it's it's an ugly mess. Should have got some hair. It, it should have should have been exposed. It should have been exposed. Ooh. It, it should have been debris. Yeah. It, it, it should all that dead stuff should have been cut out of there so it could heal properly. Oh. Because oh. as long as it's not healed properly, yeah, it's always going to be an ugly so. sore. Oh my God. That makes sense. Oh my God. And that's in the spirit will never mix yeah. water and oil in the yeah. So we have to allow this cutting. And, and, and what I what I've learned about him is he's a gentleman. Jesus is a gentleman. Mm. He's not gonna force it on you. Mm. And I, I used to wonder sometimes, I say, God, you sent him with all this power and all this demean and all these things that he has in his disposal. Mm. Then you turn around and, and allow him to make us in his image and his likeness. Then you turn around and tell him, you choose who you're gonna serve. Ah. Mm. Why do he just why don't he just make us? Well, that's his love. That's his love. Now that's love. Because anybody, if if we like when when we love today, mm -hmm. You know, that's why people have counselors and stuff now. Why why you know the difference between abuse and love? Because abuse is control, whether it's physical or emotional or mental. But and so you don't have a choice in that matter. You're gonna love me tonight, girl or boy. You know, you're gonna do this, you're gonna cook my dinner, you're gonna come home at a certain time, you ain't gonna go out at a certain time. But when you have love, I'm just kind of equating it to natural, real love is not overbearing. Real love does give you a choice. And real love also gives you a choice to be who you are, which is good about the love of Christ because he made us in, you know, God has made us in the image and all of us are different and that's okay. Can somebody put that in there in the, in the in the chat tonight? That's okay. How I made is okay because he made me like that. But he's taking who he made and he's making the inside of us whole by choice. He already did the work one time, one time, and so now the choice. This is where. This is where we come in at, is that he loves us so much that he has given us a choice to accept what he's done one time to make us whole. Thank you, Lord, for his love. Amen. So, so mm -hmm. as 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 Bible talking about the tree is known by the fruit, you know, it was just kind of metaphor. Mm -hmm. But Every professing believer mm -hmm. is, in a sense, a tree. And I think I'm just kind of repeating. And every professing believer bears fruit of some kind. Mm -hmm. You're either going to bear good fruit or bad fruit. Mm -hmm. So therefore, just like false prophet, the person who calls himself a Christian mm -hmm. is generally known by the, the fruit fruits they bear. Can I talk about Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just want to read some uh, reference that I found that connects the the bad food, the false prophets, and the followers. Uh, so we won't make a mistake just because we don't like nobody. This is distinction. It says uh, the list of 
of the characteristics or the evidence of those who are false. Number one is they profess Christians. Uh, they will be professing Christians whose loyalty is more to personalities than to the word of God. They worship the creature more than the creator. The second characteristic is they will be more concerned with their own desires than with God's glory and honor. Their doctrine will be self-centered rather than God-centered. Three, they will accept human teachings and traditions, even, uh, uh, I'm sorry, even when those teachings contradict the word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, can y'all hear that? I'm sorry, I'm turning my head. And then it says they will seek and respond to religious experiences and supernatural manifestations mm -hmm. as their final authority in validating truth. Let me read that one again. They will seek and respond to religious experiences and supernatural manifestations as their final authority and validating truth rather than grounding themselves in the whole counsel of God's word. And the fifth characteristic is they will not put up with sound doctrine, but will seek teachers who offer salvation with a broad road of unrighteousness. Hmm. That's a false teacher. That's the one, that's the wolf in sheep's clothing. And the, the followers identify to this. And Amen. they're cunning and they're crafty and they know mm -hmm. how to maneuver and draw. But the word says that, you know, he said, if an angel come mm -hmm. preaching enough, another gospel, mm -hmm. let him be a curse. You know, God's mm -hmm. word is, is, it stands alone. And mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about, we were talking about that broad way. Uh, the word clearly says that the road that leadeth to life is straight mm -hmm. and narrow. Amen. And and we got to be careful that we find that straight and narrow path. Yeah. Yeah. So so I want I want to clarify a little bit because a lot of uh, pressure get put on pastors. Okay. Every professing believer ministers in some type of way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by what you do mm -hmm. or by how you live mm -hmm. or by what you say. Mm -hmm. So in essence, a lot of times I believe that professing believers are more destructive than pastors. Mm -hmm. I, I hear crickets <laughs> because the Bible says, let your light so shine mm -hmm. that men mm -hmm. may what? See your good works. See your good works. And glorify. Because if you, if you over the internet and out and, and airways now, everybody got a, 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 a church, but you, everybody got a Jesus. Yeah. Everybody's got the answer. Everybody's got the solution. Mm -hmm. everybody has a theory everybody has a different hurt everybody has a different revelation everybody mm -hmm. has a different observation mm -hmm. but not but but you you I'm, I'm thinking math now pastors are just one that i was getting that go ahead okay go on, go on with no, no. Not going with it pastors are just one the sheep are many that's why when even when you're building uh, or kingdom building, it is the sheep that does the work. It's the sheep that beget sheep, okay? And because the sheep has the influence of the shepherd, or you are a wolf, <laughs> <laughs> or a not a sheep but a goat, <laughs> mm -hmm. hide now, mm -hmm. you know. But you have the biggest influence. Uh, than the past do. And, and since you said that, you know, I do think about, you know, people are saying, always saying, this is why people don't go to your church. Mm -hmm. No, they don't go to your church because of you, not us. When you got that statement and it has gone to 
uh, 7 billion people in the world. And I ain't say that, you said that. You just read 7 billion people and you just influence them not to be connected to God. Forget the church because that's how, that's, forget it because that's not the problem. Okay. And again, the influence you have on babies yes. is more devastating yes. than you have on people that's maturing. Well, people that's maturing, been there, done that, know that. Well, check this out. When you say babies, so that's how we can tell it's revealed that you are a baby. Right. Because, you know, babies influence babies. When my babies went to daycare, they, they went to daycare, they weren't cussing. But when they, I'm just telling you, but when they got to daycare, they were cussing, throwing tantrums. They didn't do that because we whipped them at home. Mm -hmm. But they knew when they got among their peers, their other 18 month old, you see what I'm saying? Bringing all kinds of things in there. That was an issue that we constantly had to break when they got home. Amen. <laughs> That's so in the world today. As the pastor, I know we look bad, but because the world is so influential because you got a many sheep out there who's, who's talking and a many people who are judging. No, we're not judging. You're judging. We got many people who are judging so hard until when you come home in the house to be taught, it looks like we're reteaching all the time. I'm done. I, Amen. I love you. So, so in, 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 in the text, Jesus was letting his disciples know what? Mm -hmm. He was letting them know that their main purpose in the kingdom yes. was to be a vehicle yes. for carrying or undoing or transferring or it. exposing mm -hmm. the fruit of God to be given to the world. Mm. Mm. We have been chosen and ordained to mm -hmm. bear fruit for the father yes jesus said this is what brings glory to god yes our fruitfulness yes it's not our happy dance it's not our hooker book mm -mm. it's not our tambourine band nope. it's not our speaking in tongues mm -hmm. it's not any of that that brings glory to God. Mm. What brings glory to God is our lifestyles. Mm. Our lifestyles okay. brings glory to, to the God. Father. And that's the reason we put emphasis, I said it in the last lesson, mm. a lot of times we put the emphasis on the wrong stuff mm. and not on the right stuff. And as leaders, we have to be careful that we're putting more emphasis on growth than on the shout and on all the other things that, that, that they are part of it. Period. But if you're going to grow, you got to eat that meat. Mm -hmm. You got to drink that sincere milk. Mm -hmm. And what has happened is we have error and we have strayed mm -hmm. from teaching. teaching and development. And I, and I say that I because Mm -hmm. uh, Christian growth is a developmental thing. It's just like developing uh, a child that's, that doesn't want to be a dancer. They have to go through the proper development. It's like developing someone to play an instrument. You have to go through the proper development. It's like developing basketball players. They have to go through proper development. And sometimes she used to get so mad at me because I tell her sometimes I got to break them and rebuild them. And that's a process. Even in athletics, there's sometimes there's so many bad habits. Yeah. You have to break them down to nothing yeah. in order to build something. When you think about it, you said in the beginning, we don't want the suffering. We don't want the pain. I'm not going to lie. You know, and we, we have a tendency to focus on the other thing, like the entertainment or just making people feel good, like you're not against them. Uh, you know, and like you haven't been through, you you wanna you wanna tell them every deep and dark, spooky thing mm -hmm. about yourself to know that it's okay. And you know, we we we've got so many 
oh, we're branding, you know, we're branding, you know, <laughs> we're doing everything that we can to, to just keep them somewhere before we just give them the word. Why? I know me personally that persecution don't feel well. And for some reason, I used to do real well with that mm -hmm. until becoming a pastor, because I, I guess because I was a sheep, so it didn't matter as much. But, you know, it's a different shoe that you stand in when God calls you to a different thing, you know. And so by this time, it's like, OK, I don't want to teach this. But then you almost damned if you do and damned if you don't, because you go some route. And then all of a sudden the enemy, you know, he's just there. He's just there to do what he needs to do. And we just have to do what we have to do in order to help everybody make it. And I, and I want to make this disclosure. Mm hmm. Um, we're not knocking mm -mm. Uh, a good choir, a good, a no. good, good, good teaching, good, good things that's going on in ministry. All that is a part of building. Mm -hmm. But you need to know why you dancing, why you yes. praising, and why you should be connected. Because yes. what happens is people will connect to the fun stuff, right? But they won't connect to the gross stuff, the stuff that cuts. <laughs> and what happens is they won't grow yeah. past mm -hmm. the inspiration mm -hmm. into the education. Mm -hmm. Because I can I can I can give you a good speech to inspire you, but that's only gonna last for a little while. Mm -hmm. That's gonna last while you're in the wall. But once you leave those walls, that's, the that's when you need education. Yes. Not inspiration. Mm -hmm. You need some tools. Yes. You need some spiritual tools yes. that's going to cause you to be able to handle the woes mm -hmm. of this world. And mm -hmm. they're coming. Mm -hmm. I ain't Dion, but they're coming. <laughs> okay. Man is born of a woman is but a what? Few a days. few days full of trouble. Full of trouble. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, so if we give us about five more minutes, we'll, we'll hit a little bit. If not, we can shut down, but we're going to take those five. We're going to steal five tonight. We ain't going to steal. That's robbing. Amen. So the Bible says in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. The fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So in order to get to the place of fruitfulness, there's seasons, there's mm -hmm. times that we have to go through the cutting and the pruning because mm -hmm. these things don't just happen mm -hmm. <laughs> by saying I got it. <laughs> I, I got it. No, I got I got I got to allow some stuff to happen. Mm -hmm. I got to draw up some some episodes. I got to draw up some some scenes. I got to write a book mm -hmm. of your life mm -hmm. that has some of these opportunities mm -hmm. for you to show me that you have these fruit. Uh, but uh, Bruce Neal, Prophet mm -hmm. Neal said the warfare begins. Oh, yes, sir. That's where it is, mm -hmm. and that starts within. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it is it is when because he tells mm -hmm. us that we 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 have two spirits. Worn in us daily, mm -hmm. and whichever one that you you feed, you give into. That's the one. That's the that one that's us. going to expose. Mm -hmm. That's what's mm -hmm. going to come out of you. That's what's going to rule and regulate your life. Mm -hmm. So, in order to to display these fruit, mm -hmm. there are some things that have to happen to your tree. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like a yard. I mean, you winterize it. Mm -hmm. You, you you go in and you put holes and you you dig those holes so it can get air. You, you spray different chemicals on there to make sure it, it kills out all the dead weeds. If you want a pretty green lawn, sometimes you have to spray spray a little grass out there. So there's a process, a manicuring, or there's a press a process of us cutting our grass in order for it to look like a young a yard should look. If you want yard of the month. You see these people standing in their yards on their hands and knees, putting little vines and chipping off the, the different, different things, the manicure to make it look attractable, to make it look like it's supposed to look. If we're going to look like we're supposed to look and we're going to look like him, we got to allow him to manicure us. You hear me say, we got to allow him to do that. Amen. Amen. 
So in that allowing process, we have to become not comfortable in what we are, but we have to allow we have to allow us to become comfortable in the process that's necessary to bring about the growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the father's desire to see that. So mm -hmm. I know we're out of time. We're gonna we're gonna come on close out for you though. We're we out of time. We're gonna quit right there and we'll pick back up right there uh next Wednesday in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And I, the other script that she gave you was um, the, uh, that was the last, that was last one. one. Let me Galatians five twenty two uh, oh, through twenty three. Uh, go add uh, Hebrews four twelve and Second Timothy three sixteen and seventeen. We may not get to all of that, but Hebrews four twelve, Second uh, Timothy three sixteen and seventeen. Cause I that's, that's so much there. Some I got so many notes that we probably won't even get to the mother scriptures, but we got some notes that we can deal with. Okay. Amen. Amen. God Amen. bless y'all. I mean, I y'all 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 making me sweat up in there. Y'all making me nervous. So supporters, <laughs> you okay? Good, 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 good. Well, listen. Um, we are. Uh, uh, thank you, Pastor. That's that's it's been good word, good 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 meal. Uh, tonight to go along with our meatless meal. <laughs> I don't know who cheated or not, but we haven't cheated yet unless he did. <laughs> well, I'm going to eat some frosted flakes. Because all that stuff you got stirred up over there, I can't do that. Oh my gosh. I got him some vegetables and stuff over there. He's just kicking and screaming. Y'all pray for your pastor. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Give me the frosted flakes. <laughs> But uh, thank you all for joining in tonight. Um, you can be a blessing on tonight. Uh, members, you don't have to wait until Sunday to pay your tithe and your offerings. Um, you can go by Giblify Wednesday night. The Bible says don't come before the Lord empty handed. And so uh, you can give an offering uh, tonight uh, through Giblify, through Cash App. T G I A T P. I saw somebody. I saw where um, the cash, the, the 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 creative cash app was killed, and I saw some. I never thought about it. I saw somebody put on there. Oh, I'm gonna take all my money out of cash app now. Huh? I, we still gonna use it, I guess, till till there's a warning sign. But uh, anyway, uh, you can give by that way. And those of you that is just joining us, go back and watch the Bible study tonight. I think that it has been a blessing, Pastor. Thank you again. Thank you for reminding us to be humble uh, before God, because we are all still growing. I think that's what that says. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're all still have a state. We opened up by saying uh, what Paul says. I have not yet apprehended. <laughs> I have not obtained. I have not arrived. You know, every day is a journey and an opportunity to grow and to grow and to grow. But I do believe we got to get off of ground zero. Right, right. Let that's the drama go. It's time to let the drama go and let God do what he needs to do. And uh, that's what we've been practicing. This is Holy Week. Uh, we know that we've taken this week to fast off of meat, uh, to pray at 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm going to challenge the young adults uh, to join us in the morning, uh, Thursday. I hadn't put it on our, our Facebook page yet, but get some young adults, 6 o'clock, we might be on there about seven, 10 minutes. We're not doing long prayer, but it may be extended into something. We don't know. But uh, we know that this week we are praying because we have been expecting God to do something different in our lives. I've been pulling on the Lord for myself. I can't pull on him for, for you guys, but I need something to happen in this next level in my life. And, and, and so I've been pulling on, uh, you know, because I've stumbled. OK, and so I've been pulling on him so that I can grow, so I can catch hold and I can be revived. So I'm just challenging you to do the same, you know, with prayer and, and, and fasting and and the word of the Lord. Take these scriptures and go meditate on them the rest of the week. You know, the rest of the week, go read them, finish the chapter because there's plenty uh, of meat. Yes, I will send you the information for the prayer line. OK, and. Uh, there's plenty of meat uh, in this word that will help you and, and let God speak to you. Uh, Friday, Friday, everybody post Friday. Listen, we're going to come live if we can. Uh, it's it's a Good Friday. And at noon, we're having our Good Friday celebration at the church. 
Uh, we're going to go up and worship and praise, and we're going to feed the public. So you are welcome to come worship, uh, testify. I don't know if we're going to get to testify or just run, but I'm coming in to give him all I got. And, uh, and and thank him for what happened on that good Friday. Amen. Pastor's going to bring a little word on Friday yeah, to little us. Word, word. And then you're going to, uh, and then we're going to eat. So bring your family, friends, neighbors, tell somebody, and uh, let's pack our little old church out. Amen. We can do this for the Lord. Uh, and then we'll be back uh, Easter Sunday morning at 1030. Members, be there. Breakfast is going to start at 8 o'clock. We're going to do breakfast from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. With meat. With meat. Yeah, we, we can eat meat on Friday because we're going to have meat in that spaghetti, okay? We're going to have chicken spaghetti and regular spaghetti, okay? So with some meat in it. <laughs> so then Sunday, we'll have some meat, okay? And uh, and and so y'all can do what, what the Lord leads you to do. But listen, be a blessing tonight. Pray for what is ahead of us. And let's come with our, you know, hands lifted up in praise, ready to do uh, uh, what the Father has commanded us to do. So we're going to leave out with that in, uh, in prayer. Father, we thank you for this time of sharing. Yes, Lord. We thank you for those who have joined in with us, Father God. Yes, Lord. And we're praying, Father God, that you would cover us, Father God. We know that this is your storm, but we also know we can ask you to be the protector that you are to us, oh God, in the midst of this storm that we have been sitting in, Father God, even in our lives, God, we thank you, God. You already been the protector. You've yes, already yes, been yes, provider. Yes. You've already been healer, Father yes. God. You've already been way out of no way. God, you've already been the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Yes, and because we have a testimony and we don't forget, we just say thank you, God. Yes, and Lord. if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't say thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. In Jesus' name, we we pray amen and amen. Amen. God bless y'all. Good night.